Seven Sigma of Green. We're at Home Depot today because we're getting our pavers. Hey guys, we're at Home Depot today to pick up our pavers and we are at the curbside. So they're going to deliver our pavers and we're gonna get started on that when we go up to the property. It is gonna be 104 degrees and my husband's gonna have me do some physical labor in this heat. So yeah, maybe, bye. Here, and then I have to go around to get the machine and we're gonna So we got our papers delivered and yeah, delivered. We got our papers delivered. Let's see what we have. So we have pavers, of course. How many do we have? 12. 12 pavers. And we have <laughs> sand <laughs> and what is this? River base and polymetric sand. Polymetric sand. Oh. And that's it. That's all the supplies we need. Right behind you, landscape barrier. Ah, landscape barrier, Not weed protector. Oh. <laughs> so we got landscape barrier and weed protector. And we are ready and prepared to do our pavers. And this is gonna be my first time. This is gonna be my husband's first time doing pavers. Oh, it ain't. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well. I'm a sheep. Okay, he's been doing this for years. He says he's a G and he's been doing it for years. Don't believe him. I'm a skilled tradesman. He's just playing. Anyway, it's our first time. Shade. I'm good. Look at how the top of your head sticking out of it. It's supposed to stick. I said I'm good, good. Just as long as I got you, you're on my mind, sure. And it seems I affect you too. What could be going on? My friends, they just don't know. What is he smoking on? And I say that because I don't smoke. I said I'm good, good, good. As long as I got you, you're on my mind, sure. And it seems I think you too. What could be going on? All oh, my friends, they just don't know. I don't think we're good. I don't think we're good. Like I see two of you, I'm through. Let's get this over with quick, quick, quick. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm cool. I said good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? I'm good. to get good help people yeah i'm not used to doing manual labor so sorry <laughs> come on off chris let's go off chris someone help me help me please can you help me help me please i'm in good morning good afternoon good evening how are you i'm good i'm cool i said i'm good as long as I 
I got you. You're on my mind, sure. And it seems I like you too. What could be going on? Oh, my friends, they just don't know. But what is he smoking? Your contract went up. <laughs> Not a contractor. You're putting the bucket on so we can dig See a hole. Can... <sighs> dig that little three inch hole. The ground, is too hard. the ground is too hard for us to actually manually dig it with a with a shovel. Technically it's not too hard, but it's just too lazy. Oh, I like the fact that it's too hard. <laughs> it's not too hard. We're just getting old. We're lazy today. We have bad knees. <laughs> I, got, I got gout. <laughs> you got that eczema? You got eczema? <laughs> Out bad knees and eggs, but that's funny. That's messed up. You got Ozempic. Ozempic syndrome. What's Ozempic syndrome? I don't know what they say. Most people taking Ozempic and they have a uh, Yeah, they have all kinds of side effects. Ozempic ain't working on me. You got that belly? I got that belly. I got that old belly. <laughs> So that's all rock. Yep. I wonder like, is it, I wonder is it like a big boulder? <laughs> and how far does it go? Because if, if the house is sitting on a rock, technically it's not gonna move anywhere. <laughs> right? Uh, technically. Technically, right? The dirt can slide on top of the rock. But look, look, look. discovered when we try to dig a hole we can't dig a hole because this is all granite it's all rock hear that that's rock 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 <laughs> wow. so we're gonna have some pavers that won't be level with the ground so we gotta step up on the pavers to step up to the stairs step to step up. into the <laughs> into the house step up step up step up to the steps well, we won't be able to dig and make the pavers flush with the ground, but actually it may work in our favor to have them slightly elevated instead. We'll see what happens this winter when it rains. It's going to be very interesting to see how the water drains and what problems we've created for ourselves. And this is a weed barrier. Mm -hmm. Why would we put a weed barrier down? Think about it. So the weeds don't grow up. We don't want the baby weeds to grow up. <laughs> Vigoro. Vigoro, Vigoro, Vigoro. Don't litter your neighborhood, woman. Bringing that city behavior up here to the mountain. You the one looting, not me. Kick y'all nowhere. Are you gonna put that on top? Yeah, why not? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When you say, yeah, why not? Is that a, yeah, I'm supposed to? Or, yeah, why not? I bought this roll. I forgot we already had some up here. Oh, so you're just gonna put it an extra layer. Run that. Okay. And it's gray. It'll match the papers. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, your turn to work. I'm gonna go eat. Alright, what am I doing? Just cover this black part up with that. Okay. And then nail the little corners in. Alright. Okay. Same size as this. What am I supposed to fit? Yes, we need scissors and home stands too. Scissors in the house. Out here, give me a 
mangoes. You can always use scissors. Okay, where's the where's the hammer? Where's the nails? Where are the nails? I need gloves. I'm going to eat. Taking a break. Taking a break. I see this. Shout out to Billy Blaze Seven on YouTube. Appreciate Billy Blaze, thank you, Billy. Always come through with the good tips. Billy be looking out for us. <laughs> That's what he be doing. <laughs> Billy B. Billy looks out for us. How about that? <laughs> I had a city moment. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sit here and watch you work. That's right. Cool. This is all I'm doing today. <laughs> We have another fire. This time, the fire is no longer down there. The fire now is a new fire, is actually behind these mountains here. So, behind our pyramid, behind these mountains back there is a fire so we have helicopters who are flying from that area down to this area to grab water and put out those fires in the back it's fire season Are we putting that down first? We have the patio paver base that we are putting down next. So we've already put our weed sheet down. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Weed sheet? <laughs> weed barrier. Our weed barrier. We put our weed barrier down. And now we're putting our patio paver base down. Open the bags. Open the bags? This is baby knife. How do I open the bags? Take the knife and you fit it. And this is how you're supposed to hand someone a knife. That's not a knife. Not the... This is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> that is a knife. I don't know why you have that big bag. Knife. So we're just stabbing. Okay. You still can't close it. Hold on. <gasps> I'll tell them the story about this. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, look. This is a knife he originally gave me for my protection, but when we open it, I couldn't close it because I guess my fingers weren't strong enough. So I've been working doing some finger muscles and finger exercises. <laughs> so now I can close it. Oh, well, That's and I'm clum and I'm clumsy, which is why he was very hesitant about giving you a knife. About giving me a knife. <laughs> I can't do that. That's right. Okay, hold on. You gotta hold it so it don't come up and touch your finger. Oh, right here? I'll hold that part. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I got it. Children's coming and get your finger. You can't hold it. No. You see, do you see this? <laughs> this? Watch your finger. I'm like, why would he have something this big? This is like to kill a tiger or something. It's like, why? I don't understand. <laughs> why well, I gotta get to raking? This is a girl power project. This is not a girl power project. 
Here, a handmaiden off Chris. I need you to hurry up with that. We've got a commander's meeting in another hour, and they need their handmaidens in the room Obviously. ready for the ceremony. <laughs> Obviously, we've been watching Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just finished putting the rocks down. The what is it called? Sand, pebble sand. We finished putting paver base down and we're about to put the pavers on top of the base and then we're going to put the sand on even though it's a little bootleg because again it's on a rock and we can't dig as far as we need to dig we're just working with what with, with what we have basically so wish us luck paper project didn't turn out exactly as planned but we will be able to salvage our mess and make it at least look better than what we imagined by adding some type of border around the pavers filling the space in between the border and the pavers with some type of decorative stone or mulch paint the pavers to cover up the stains I made with that polymetric sand oops but at least we have a clean landing area for the stairs we'll just have to spruce it up and make it look nice Step one complete. I got to come through yeah, for you, baby. I got something new. So this is the western side of our property that we haven't shown. This is the back gate, and we have a whole other property side way back there, a whole nother mountain. We'll walk back there at a later day to show you that. It is straight raw land. <laughs> to, wilderness. It is the wilderness. But right now we are going to walk down to show you the back way. 
So the reason why we're walking down here is because this is the back way entrance and exit to the property. And we need to be able to have two entrance and exits to be able to get in and out of our property just in case of an emergency. However, back here, there needs to be some work done. So we're gonna go, we're walking down to survey the back entrance and that is going to be our next project is to get this taken care of. Again, the fires have kind of spooked us out. So we wanna make sure that we're taking care of all the things that we need to take care of in case of an emergency. And actually this route will serve as our primary road to the property because it's about a mile and a half, maybe two miles shorter than taking the main road. Is that the part you were speaking of? Concrete. Yeah. We used to use this road a lot, but after the heavy rainstorms we had last December, the drainage issues on this road created super ruts, and it made it very interesting when we drove up. So luckily our firefighter neighbor has an excavator, and we've hired him to replace the culvert and fix some of the deeper ruts on the road for us this week. So this is the area that actually needs to be fixed and repaired. Oh you almost falling. This is a culvert. It's concrete and a crack. Yeah. So they need to fix the um, the concrete as well. It's why? Why did they fix? Why did they put? Hey. So people won't drive over it. It's a hole. Oh, uh, yeah. It is a hole. The whole tire was sinking that. Yep. You got to dig this whole trench out, put a culvert across, and cover back over there. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, back up all right about a half a mile walk. i don't know but this is a hike you look like you're doing 1980s exercises <laughs> jazzercise yeah <laughs> damn that van far away yep it looks like it So we just finished looking at the exit entrance, the second entrance and exit of our property, and we need to get that done. When do we get that done? This week. This week? Okay, well. I gotta come with the excavator and fix that culvert and fix some of these ruts on the road. Well, we're gonna get that done as soon as possible. <laughs> so. Just in case there's an emergency, we have a, another exit and entrance to get into the property. So unfortunately, we won't have any footage of that video for you guys. But if all goes well next week, we can start using this road again as our primary road. And then we will definitely show you guys once it's complete. All right, guys. Bye. Seven Sigma Off Grid.